started out and I uh, first had my goal of winning Mr. Universe and being another Reg Parker and winning as many titles as possible and getting into movies. Um, at that point, I had uh, not the goal of promoting the sport of bodybuilding. I had the goal to promote myself and to be the, the ultimate champion and to make sure for years to come I will be the one that people will remember. But when you get into the sport and when you then uh, win the world championships and you win Mr. Universe and you win it again and you win it again and you win Mr. Olympia and you start winning all these championships and I won 13 world bodybuilding championships. You ask yourself the question right away of is it just about me? Or should I concentrate not only on me lifting weights but also me lifting the entire sport? And so that's where my obsession went. And my obsession went from looking at myself to looking at the world out there and seeing that there is a lot of inspiration that is needed. And so therefore, I started uh, going on a fitness crusade. It was in the early 70s. And we started bringing uh, people, interesting people together. They had a different way of looking at the sport. And we were very fortunate at that point to have you know, the Charles Gaineses and uh, George Butler doing Pumping Iron, the book, and then to do eventually the, the, the movie Pumping Iron. And to have the Leroy Neemans, the artists that painted me and the others, uh, bodybuilders, and uh, to have Jamie Wyeth, uh, one of the great artists, to paint me, and Andy Warhol to paint me, and these are the relationships with all of this high society people. And all of a sudden, you know, the Warren Beatty and Jack Nicholson and all of this, uh, great actors start coming to uh, the competitions. So there was a real breakthrough to reach the average people out there. And so that was my goal. And uh, so I'm today I'm very, very happy that I had that power of influence and to use my personality and my uh, talent in selling and marketing uh, and to push the crusade forward and to make it what it is today. And I have to say that our crusade was very successful because then we had uh, less than a thousand gymnasiums in America and today we have more than 30,000 gymnasiums. So it just shows you, then it was an industry that was not even a billion dollar industry. Today it's a $21 billion industry. We employ almost a million people through our industry. So this industry has become very, very powerful, very influential, and we need to continue growing that way.